Hey guys, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to do an update for my rolling project pan. Now I know we are almost halfway through the year, but this is just going to be the second update for this project. I knew this was going to happen. That's why I'm doing this project this way this year. We've just had so much going on in our lives. You can check my Instagram if you're interested in all of that stuff. Uh, but let's just go ahead and get into the update and I will show you where I am with all of my products. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future uploads. You can also hit that little bell notification so you know when I post. Uh, and now let's just get into all the makeup. All right, so between the last update and now, I only managed to finish off two products, so I will go over those first. There are two products that I'm voluntarily taking out of the project, so I'll go over those. Then I will go through all the products that I still have in the project, and then I will go over all of the new stuff. All right, so the two products that I managed to finish off were both powders. The first one was my Mary Kay powder. This was just a, uh, a loose setting powder. I had this probably since... 2013 maybe? Maybe 2014. It was something like that. I got this in an influencer box, um, but I took the stopper out and it is now completely gone. Um, even though it was really old, I really didn't notice that the powder was performing badly or anything. Um, I just knew that it was old, so I wanted to get it out of my collection. Um, but it was just a really basic, you know, basic translucent powder. I didn't have any issues with it. Uh, but then the next product that I finished off was my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. Um, I had only been working on the bronzer since I had finished off the highlighting shade last year but now this one is completely finished and I did get this product sent to me as well through Octoly a couple of years ago uh, but I'm so happy that that one is now out of my collection the more I used it I think the less I started to like it um, but I did manage to finish it off but I'm really happy that that is now gone and I can start working on some other bronzers in my collection so then like I said I am going to be taking out two products from this project there's nothing wrong with them I'm just a little bit sick of them at this point um, I'm going to try and rotate a few different things into my everyday makeup uh, but the first one I'm going to be taking out is my lipstick this is the lust for blush from Maybelline um, and I use this a ton and you will see a lot of progress on here which is really exciting but I'm just ready to kind of move on I feel like every single picture I post on my Instagram I have this exact same lip color and I'm tired of looking at it at this point um, I do really like these lipsticks I feel though um, because this is an older lipstick and it's just a kind of more of a heavy formula in general it has gotten even heavier and I feel like you can just kind of see like every little um, crack and imperfection on my lips when I wear it. So um, I'm going to hold on to it for now and I'll probably bring this back um, in a couple of months, maybe towards the fall time to really try and just bust this out by the end of the year. We'll see. But if I feel at that time that the formula just really isn't holding up, then I might just go ahead and get rid of it. Um, but you can see here, let me see if I can get this in focus for you. All right, so you can see here that I have made quite a bit of progress. Um, there are the lines that I've been marking. Um, so I'm really quite happy with the progress on that. Like I said, I'm just a little bit sick of this lipstick at this point. I've got a huge lip product collection that I'd like to kind of rotate throughout. Um, so I'm not going to be adding any new lipstick into this project. And then the other product that I'm going to be taking out of this project is my blush from Seraphine Botanicals. This is the Happy Hibiscus Blush, and I've been using this forever. I had this in a project pan last year. Um, and in the last update, I actually completely forgot to show this product and a different product. I don't know what happened there. I mentioned it in the description box, um, but I, th I think I had that product with me that day, but it, for some reason it just did not end up in the video. So you have not seen this since the beginning of the year, um, and my goal with this product was just to hit pan, and I felt like I had been using it forever and ever. Like I said, it was in a different project last year, and I felt like I was getting nowhere with it, uh, but I actually did manage to hit pan, so I'm really, really happy about that. Um, I've got quite a nice little dip of pan going there. Why is nobody in focus? Okay. Sorry, there we go. I've got a pretty decent spot of pan going now, so I'm very happy to move that along. Um, I'm not gonna get rid of that one either. I do really like that, and eventually I would really like to finish that blush up. I do, like I said, I think in every single video when I have that blush, that it's more of like a spring, like an early spring, winter, fall kind of blush. For summer, I want something maybe a little bit brighter, so I'm happy to put that away for a while and move on to something else. Um, all right, now let me go ahead and talk about all the different products that were in my product, or that were in my project last time that I'm still working on. First product here is my Pillow Plump Lip Gloss from Soap and Glory. Back a while ago, I was using this all the time, and then I put it in this project, and I really have barely used it, unfortunately. Um, I have marked it here um, that you can see. I've just, I mean, there's barely any movement on this product, unfortunately, for how long it's now been in this project. Pretty sure that this was in the intro. Um, I really need to just, you know, get with it and just put this on top of every single thing that I'm wearing. You know, let's just go ahead and put a little bit on right now. 
I really did like this lip gloss at some point, but then I think, I don't know, it's not that I don't like it, I just feel like I don't like how it looks on me. I don't know, I just, a glossy lip is not my thing, and I know it's kind of coming back in style, but I don't know, I'm not on board totally with the glossy lips again yet, but, but we'll see. I just want to get this done because I do like the formula. Next product here is my It Cosmetics CC Cream. This is the shade Fair. I love this stuff, um, but I'm quite surprised that this is not completely finished. I think it will be done very, very soon. It's not gonna look like I've got much uh, gone from the last time you saw this, but I feel like I've used it a ton, and I feel like I really have used a lot of the product. It's just kind of all come down from here. Um, so I marked it there last time. I didn't even bother to mark it again this time because I, it, it'll be gone soon. The way that this product works, it just kind of, um, you know, pressurizes everything down as much as it can. You squeeze it out. Um, so it'll be gone in no time, I feel, and I do really like that product. Um, all right, here's the other product that I had that was not in the last update for one reason or another. I have no clue. Uh, but this is the LOC by Tati, um, like eyeshadow crayon stick thing. Um, this is in the shade on point. I've used this a little. I do need to get back into using this as well. I just, you know, this is just like an extra step in my makeup routine, I feel. I put it on underneath my eyeshadow. And some days I feel like I just don't have time to put this on. I don't want to take an extra step with my makeup, but um, I have been using it sporadically. I just really need to, you know, maybe give myself an extra 30 seconds to be able to do that so I can get that product gone because it is getting a little bit old, but I do really like it. Um, Alright, then the next product I have here is my eyeshadow base. This is the Too Faced Shadow Insurance, and I have marked it. Hopefully you'll be able to see that. Um, there isn't a whole lot of progress on there, but I think I'm making at least steady progress, which is good. This should definitely be gone sometime this year, who knows. Um, all right, then here is my setting spray. This is a product that I just added into the project the last update, uh, and you can see here that I have used quite a bit of this, so I think that there will be no issue with me finishing this off by the next update. Um, I really like this spray. I think I even have one more of these stashed away ready to be used when this one is gone, um, but did I even tell you this is the Urban Decay All Nighter. I know they have since uh, repackaged this so it doesn't look like this anymore but um, I do really like that product. I've gone through a ton of those in the past. And then the last product that I'm still currently working on that was in the update last time and has been in a project pan since like September, I think. I know I've been working on this for months, um, but this is an eyeliner from Revlon. This is the Photo Ready Kajal. It is the double-sided, and I'm only working on the black, and it's still going strong. For a while there, in between the last update and now, I had misplaced this, so I was using something else, but I do feel like I've used this quite a bit, and it's just uh, it's just hanging around. It's very slow going. It stays sharp forever, I feel, so you really don't have to sharpen it more than like every five, six, seven, eight, nine, I don't know. It, you just don't need to sharpen this very much. Um, but hopefully by the next update, I can uh, be done with that one because I'm really kind of getting sick of it. All right, now finally moving on to all of the new products that I will be adding into this project. Um, and the first one is going to be a primer. This is from Laura Mercier, and this is just her basic foundation primer. This is from a little set that I got like a 500 point perk from Sephora a couple of years ago, so it's getting a little bit old and it's lasted me forever. I feel like I've used this so much um, and it's just not going anywhere. Uh, so I'm very happy to put this in this project to hopefully you know, get this gone very, very soon because this is not something that I've used very consistently, but I do feel like I've used it a ton over the last couple of years. So if I can start using it a little bit more consistently, it should be gone hopefully very soon. I don't think there's that much product left in here, but it is. it, it doesn't feel like it'll be gone within like the next two times, but maybe the next, I don't know, five or six times that I use this, this should probably, hopefully, be gone. And here's a lip liner that I'm going to be adding in. Like I said, I'm not going to be adding in a lipstick, but I thought a lip liner would be okay. And I've used this particular lip liner a ton with different colors of lipstick, so I feel like this is a pretty neutral color and can get away with using a lot of different shades of lipstick with this one. Um, and this is from e.l.f. This is their long wearing lip liner in the color Mauve Luxe. I will go ahead and give you a little swatch of this. Um, this is really old. It was one of their $1 uh, lip liners that they had. Do they even sell $1 stuff? anymore. I feel like they don't. But this is what this lip liner looks like. I am wearing it today um, and I think it's pretty. It's just a really, you know, really kind of a basic mauve color. Um, so hopefully this will uh, not last me too long. It is more of a soft formula so I do have to sharpen it a little bit more often than I would with some other lip liners. So hopefully that means I can get this done pretty quickly.
All right, just two more products to talk about. The next one is going to be my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I have the shade Fair Neutral, and this I feel is going to be like the most boring product ever to put in a project pan because you're really not going to be able to see any progress on it, but I do wanna make myself use this. I actually only have two concealers right now, and this is the older of the two, so I do wanna just, you know, try and knock this, oh, as I almost drop it. I do just wanna try and knock this out of my collection this year, um, and when I look in there, there definitely does not seem to be that much. I don't even know how I would go about like marking this. Um, I do like this concealer. I think it's really, really nice. I have it on today, of course. I'm thinking sometime soon I will be able to remove the stopper and it not, you know, kind of gloop out everywhere as sometimes it does if you remove the stopper too soon. Um, I probably will give it at least another couple weeks of using this before I do that. But hopefully by the next update, I will have at least removed the stopper if it's not completely gone. Um, and with this stuff, because it is so expensive and I do really like it, I might even go ahead and like dig out all the stuff that kind of remains at the bottom. If it starts to change color, which which it has happened to me with different concealers that I won't do it, but right now it looks okay. So I'll just play it by ear as to if I'm gonna actually try and get every single last drop out of this, or if I'm just gonna go ahead and get what the doe foot can get. And then my very last product that I'm going to be adding into my project pan is this blush from Benefit. This is just a sample size of their Rockateur blush. I do like having one blush to always use. That's just something that I don't need to think about. I don't really wanna think about it because I do like how blush looks, but blush just is not my favorite makeup product. I mentioned before that I just I went like 12 years without even owning a blush, um, but I'm you know I've been back into it for a couple years and I do have a collection of blush now, but it's just not something that I'm super excited about. Um, so having one that I consistently always use is good, um, and that is what this one looks like. There was a little emblem on there that I have uh, rubbed off. Uh, but I haven't, I'm not anywhere close to hitting pan. If I could hit pan on this this year, that would be amazing, but I don't count on that happening. So I just like to see a little bit of a dip uh, form in this one before maybe moving back to this one in the fall. We'll see. So that was my rolling project pan update. Again, I apologize for getting this out so late and having such a long stretch of time in between the last update and now. Uh, but you know, like I said, so much stuff has been happening in my life. I just really can't help it. Uh, but we're here now and that's the most important thing. But yeah, I think it's going pretty well, all things considered. You know, I'm continuously using most of the products as often as I can, which is good. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching today and hanging out with me for a little bit. Again, make sure you uh, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my future uploads. You can hit that little notification bell and I'll give you a little notification every time I post. You can also connect on Instagram. I will have that link listed down in the description box below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!